Kamala Harris denies claims that she targeted black men during her time as district attorney in California. Roll it. One of the biggest allegations against you is that you targeted and locked up thousands of, of black men in San Francisco for weed. It's just simply not true. And it, what public defenders who are around those days will tell you, I was the most progressive prosecutor in California on marijuana cases and would not send people to jail for simple p possession of weed. And as vice president, have been a champion for bringing marijuana down on the schedule. I will work on decriminalizing it because I know exactly how those laws have been used to disproportionately impact certain populations and specifically black men. All right. Janelle King is the co-chair of Let's Win for America Action. She joins me now. Janelle, she's denying targeting black men with marijuana prosecutions. How is the, is the black community buying that? You know what? First, you have to know your audience. And I want to know who she's talking to, because the black men that are refusing to vote for her are not black men that are um, requesting any type of laws around marijuana. What they are requesting is to be counted in the in, in the population as a productive citizen, to not only be seen as statistics um, when it comes to police brutality. You know, at the end of the day, Black women on the Democrat Party have pushed black men so far out of the conversation, has basically shifted from anything you can do, I can do better, to anything you can do, you I can do it not just better, but I don't think you can do it at all. And now black men are saying, you know what, no, I'm going to hold my vote. I'm going to show you what I can do. And now they're getting a little antsy. So we have her flip-flopping on policies. We have her flip-flopping on everything that she's ever said. At first, there was no agenda for, specifically for black people. Now there's a whole agenda that's specifically for black men and others, which we don't know what that means. Um, so I think, I think this is just showing the desperation of this candidacy. And this is why they're in the position they're in. People are tired of promises out of desperation mm. that come with no real solution no real action to actually bring it forth into, into fruition. So I, I don't think this is going to work. Janelle, thanks very much for being with us this morning. We appreciate you being here. Come again soon, Janelle King. Thank you. Thanks.